sitting out there with kids from 12 to 18 or 10, and they're all from all over the U.S. or anywhere, and they're like, hey, tell me what to do. Tell me how to get to where you are. I think there's two key ingredients, maybe three, but one is see yourself as high as you possibly can see yourself, right? So if someone wants to, like, be in the NBA, like, they want to be an NBA player, to me that's not enough. Yeah. There's a wide range of NBA players, yeah. right? Yeah. There's an there's NBA player that never saw the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he sat at the yeah. end of the bench yeah. his, his whole career, and they never re-upped his contract, and yeah. then he had to go fight in the G League, and boom, 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 boom. He was in the NBA. Yeah. LeBron James is in the NBA. Yeah. Who do you see yourself as? And there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah. Clarify and define your, your vision for yourself in the highest possible way that you can see it. Do you want to be a 12-time All-Star? Yeah. Do you want to be a league yeah. MVP? Do you want to be, you know, uh, uh, you want to set the three-point shooting yeah. record? Be as specific and see yourself as high as you possibly can, right? That's your first job is to see it as high as you can see it. Be delusional even yeah. Yeah. to the point where, to, to where your mind, the, right at the apex of what your mind believes is possible, maybe push past that even a little bit yeah. and define it. And then... Number two is like, believe it. You know what I mean? Like, like see it all the time and believe it. And, and whatever you got to do to protect that belief, my version of protecting that belief was, I wasn't tell. sharing this. Yeah, you, oh, you know, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't yeah. even telling my mom. She knew I rapped. Yeah, yeah. She knew I did music. And to her, Don't it was let like, somebody knock you off I'm that. not even going to give my own mother the chance to try yeah. to bring me back down yeah. to reality. It's not yeah. going to happen. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not going to happen. So, number one, dream as high as you possibly can. See yourself. Not even dream. See yourself as high as you possibly can. Define that. Don't just say, I want to do such and such. Because if you, if you mess around and get such and such, you're going to be mad that you didn't yeah. think about higher. Yeah. There's a lot of people yeah. that do that. They're like, man, why I, didn't I, why yeah. didn't I yeah. think yeah. about yeah. being this instead yeah. of just this? Yeah. Because at the time, you thought just this was it. But do the, do the yeah. thought work and see where you really want to be. Two, believe that it's possible and protect that belief. And then three is work towards it. Don't You have to do the work. And because you love it, it's not always gonna feel like work, but sometimes it is. I'm sure there's times where Steph is is uh, in the gym or like waking up and it's like, ah, I don't really actually want to go strength train, or yeah. I really don't really want to go put these shots up. I'd rather chill with the family, yeah. but uh, I'm gonna go do it because I know my ultimate goal is championship. My ultimate goal is X, Y, and Z. So he goes and does it, and then within the work, he probably finds joy when he's yeah, there. Yeah. I'm assuming. Never had this conversation with him, but I'm assuming while he's putting up his shots, while he's working on his moves, while he's doing strength, he finds the enjoyment and the presence in it. Um, but it's still work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's still work. So uh, those are the, like the three things that I would tell anybody, yeah. whether they're 10 years old or 30 years old, you have to see yourself in the highest and, and the world will fill in the yeah. rest. You know what it's, I mean?